I saw a dead pigeon out there. I don't know what it did, but it was really smashed. John Heilman is kind of an ass. He gets great interview subjects. He understands the world. Uh, and maybe I'm jealous because he makes a great deal of money getting things slightly wrong. As you know, I get things slightly wrong a lot, and I get things totally right, and I get things categorically wrong, and I get them slightly right. I'm also not making a ton of money doing this. I'm just talking to you from, you know, some kind of vehicle. So John Heilman, when he appears on television, it looks like he doesn't have much of an upper lip, and I think they make him up so that he, it, he has this bright pink lipstick, or that's what his upper lip looks like. But when I've scrutinized it, it looks like he's wearing a little bit of lipstick up there to try to make it look like he has more of an upper lip. John, don't do it. You don't need to do this. It, it, it's not necessary. I also do like when he gets sarcastic about things and rolls his eyes and has some kind of snarky comment. What I don't love is when he's on a panel and he decides that of the four people on the panel, he should get more than 50% of the time. Particularly if there's someone who, I don't know, went to the moon or invented some kind of scientific thing or, you know, was just in a movie that Clint Eastwood directed. I might want to hear from that person a little bit more. And he sometimes gets confused about who's hosting because he has his own show that he hosts. And so when he's a guest, he sometimes steers the conversation in his own way. This is problematic. Don't do that anymore. Also, um, he made a comment, I think when the, well, there was a, there was an issue in our national discourse about a politician and her ancestry. And so Heilman said something about, you know, if you look at Native Americans and the number of them in this country, I mean, you know, there just aren't that many compared to, say, Japanese Americans. Actually, you're wrong. There are more persons who identify as American Indian or Native American or indigenous or Maoli than there are who identify as Japanese American. I found this out because when you said that, I looked it up on the Googles. And it turns out, I'm not going to even tell you, you look this up. I'm not really talking to John Heilman. I, he's not going to see this channel. But you, my viewer, look this up. It will knock your socks off. I, in fact, called a friend who has Japanese-American ancestry. And I asked her how many Japanese-Americans she thought there were in this country. And she said, I don't know, and was within... 125,000 of the estimated number. So again, I get stuff wrong all the time. I'm not making the big bucks. So I probably need to look at where my issues are here. Um, and if you think I'm wearing too much pink lipstick, please comment on it and I'll try to do something about it, I promise.